Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I'm gonna do a video today about Green Invoice, the um, accounting platform that I think is the best one for freelancers in Israel. I received some uh, positive feedback from people who have watched the, uh, the whole kind of demo video I did on Green Invoice. Green Invoice kindly set me up with a uh, sandbox environment for the purpose of making that video. For this video, um, I want to show how to work with PayPal. So what I'm actually gonna do is use my actual Green Invoice account. So because I'm using my real account and not the sandbox because the sandbox wouldn't be integrated with PayPal, um, I am going to have to blur some stuff on this video. I'm sorry about the uh, that, but uh, just to protect the identities of my clients, not that they're, it's exactly a state secret. Uh, but you know, just uh, just to be respectful to people. So, first thing to do is if you want to uh, if you want to get the um, integration working, you're going to need the not the basic plan. So I've got here. This is this this is only accurate on the date I'm recording this video. Their prices could change. Their plans could change. Here's Green Invoice's current table. Now they don't have English support. That is definitely negative. Uh, but uh, you can definitely get to grips with the Hebrew or at least most people can, I think. So the four plans, Light, Popular, Business and Prime. Light starts at 288 shekels a year or is 288 shekels a year, I should say, paid annually. Popular is 396. Anyway, the point of this is that if you if you draw your attention here to Chibur le PayPal uh, Payoneer the Blue Snap, that's not available on Light, but it is on all three other plans. So if you're on Popular or above, you can go ahead and integrate your PayPal. And this is super useful because let's face it, ultimately uh, we want it, We all wanna get paid. So yes, PayPal is more expensive than uh, other um, options typically for fees, but it's very useful if you're dealing with clients in kind of out of the way country. So let me show you firstly, beyond, it's, I'm not gonna show you how to connect your PayPal. It's beyond the purpose of this video, but it's pretty easy. Uh, go into uh, Hamarket up here and then go, go into PayPal and click on uh, Hagadrot, which means uh, settings in Hebrew, of course. Excuse the exaggerated attempt at uh, Hebrew pronunciation. And then set up your integration with your PayPal account. Uh, if, if you're doing that, make sure you have a business account to make sure you've got all your sort of business details in that uh, PayPal. Um, in other words, you know, have it look professional. So. I'm gonna just generate a dummy invoice to myself. I'm gonna go here into my test account and I'm gonna create a Cheshbon uh, I'm going to uh, put the data today. And I'm going to bill myself for demo services. And I'm gonna say it's an invoice for 10 USD. Now something very important here is that if you scroll down, you're gonna to get to the integration section, right? You're gonna see here, PayPal, Payoneer, uh, credit card, or uh, Bit. Now, please note, I don't know if this is just the way I have it set up or this is the way it's set up for everyone. I have to manually enable the payment option. So by default, when I create a uh, invoice, it doesn't have PayPal. So I need to turn it on if I want to give my customer that option. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click into PayPal. All right, so once I have that set, my invoice is basically ready to go out the door. I can't remember what I said is my due date, but as this is just a test account, it doesn't really make a difference. I'm going to now uh, issue invoice 50308 with the ability for my customer, who's me, to pay by PayPal. Now what I wanted to direct your attention to in this video was to get to this page where you see the detail of the invoice. Now um, that invoice has gone out as an email, but sometimes I get customers saying, hey, could you just like send me a link? I want to pay this thing by PayPal. How do I do this? Um, so there's a few options here. You can send the thing by email again. You can copy it, you can download it. That's not going to help. You can email it, you can WhatsApp it, you can telegram it, you can Google Drive it, you can mark it as paid, and then you can create additional documents for it. But what I haven't um, really seen, and maybe this is just, I don't know, something I'm missing, but this is a workaround that works anyway, is just a link 
to the PayPal page. So what I've actually been doing is uh, clicking on the WhatsApp link or the Telegram link. And you can see that when I do that, right, I'm gonna actually just click cancel here. You're going to get two URLs. And if you just look at those URLs, so that URL, as you can see, if you can see, yeah, you can see that it's just downloaded the PDF, right? So the Tashlum and Cheshbon, this is when, you know, the English and the Hebrew is all mess is all messed up. The left to right formatting is a disaster and it's very hard to see what's what. But so that one is for the download. And this one, if you click it, brings you to, now I don't have the Omnibox shown in the screen, but it, it's a URL that begins with pages.greeninvoice.co.il forward slash en forward slash payment forward slash bills blah 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 anyway this is the u this is the payment url and i'm not sure again if there's a way to just get this out of this page without kind of like hacking around the system i don't know if there is you can also grab it via telegram of course um and i think if you do this well you could probably email yourself anyway i just find using the whatsapp thing uh, easiest i think they should really add a feature to just jump straight to this page but you have a url here pages.greeninvoice.co.il um, it's not indexed but you don't need to, your client doesn't need to log in or whatever to do it it's got the invoice written on it it's got uh the buyer it's got the due date the amount and uh, very importantly, you've got your pay with PayPal button. So all you need to do is basically send this to your client and say, uh, if they say, I want to pay, I want to pay with PayPal, can you just send me a link that I can do that? Give them this. And then once they click on that pay with PayPal button, they're going to get the uh, option to log into their PayPal account and the transaction will be pre-populated with the invoice amount. Hope that video was helpful. If you want to get more videos from me, please feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel.